As I have said many times in past videos, hair plays a huge role in your appearance. If you can find the perfect haircut for you, you will become 40% more attractive. You can do this by choosing a hairstyle that suits your skull proportions. In this video, I will tell you in detail how to do this. First, you need to determine the shape of the head. It depends on whether your hairstyle suits you or not. I will tell you about the seven most common ones, and also show examples of hairstyles for them. Let's start with an oval shape. Most hairstyles go with it. The oval face shape is longer than, it is wide at the cheekbones and forehead. With this face shape, it is better not to cover your forehead so that your face does not appear too round. Square faces have roughly the same dimensions in height and width, but instead of rounded edges, they tend to have sharp, angular curves. For a square head shape, you should choose haircuts with short, narrow sides. Lots of hair on the side will make your head look wider. Choose a haircut that will lengthen your face and give it a more oval appearance. Heart-shaped face have a forehead that is significantly wider than the jawline. For a heart shape, it is better to increase the length at the top and sides. If you are not comfortable with long hair, you can even cut your hair bald. The round shape has the width of the cheekbones and the length of the face of approximately the same size. There is no need to leave your hair at the sides, as this will make your head look rounder. You need to add some corners and elongate the face. I don't recommend short haircuts here. Triangular faces start at a wide jawline, taper slightly towards the cheekbones, and then taper even further towards the forehead. To reduce the severity of a triangle face, men with this face shape should add volume and length to the sides. An oblong face shape, the forehead, cheekbones, and jawline are the same width. The chin has angular edges. Avoid hairstyles that make your head look longer or thinner. Men with diamond-shaped faces have wide cheekbones, but a narrow jawline and eyebrows. Here it is better to add width to the forehead to make the face appear more oval. Now a step-by-step -step plan on how to determine your shape. Take a photo of your face and measure what I'm about to say. Firstly, the length of the face. This is the distance between the hairline to the tip of the chin, next the forehead. Measure the distance from the top of one eyebrow arch to the top of the opposite arch across the face. Then measure your cheekbones as in the photo. And the last step is, measure the jaw from horizontally at the corners as in the photo. Now you can compare your entries with this table. Now you need to determine your hair type. To do this, pull out your haircut and compare it with this photo. That's all. See you in the next videos.